Hey, it's me, Josh. I just I sounded very loud to myself all of a sudden. Anyway, we're here at Goodwill today. One of these days, we'll include a shot of Goodwill. But not today, obviously. Just, no. Um, we're here today because we got four things to look for. We're looking for a Tiger handheld electronic game. That was from my buddy Robert. We're looking for a um, an R&B cassette, a.k.a. Boys to Men, something along those lines. I'll settle for an all-for-one. We're looking for a book from the Leisure Horror book series, which have these um, like 3D kind of like holographic uh, covers on them. I vaguely remember them from when I was a kid. We're going to look for one of those. And finally, we're looking for a ch -ch -ch Chia Pet. That was weird. Why did I say it like that? Chia Pet. So those are our four things for the week. So, yeah. Let's uh, see what's happening here in Goodwill. Happy 4th of July weekend. If you uh, if you celebrate 4th of July, I know um, in other countries it's probably just July 4th, but here it's the 4th of July. So, I think that made sense. Anyway, whatever. I still have my seatbelt on. I'm very safe. Very safe. Very safe. Let's see if we can find some nice safe deals. <laughs> that was an awful, awful transition. You should just quit. All right, so we're uh, got some ninja meerkats, the clan of the scorpion. That's uh, it's it's great. It's it's not it's not what we want. Um, let's see. Come on, give me something to work with. Original footage. There's hey, there's some footage for you. <laughs> oh, it's my feet. Anyway, so we're just looking, doing a little searching, doing a little um, some bodies in the attic. That's, some bodies in the attic. Uh, I get it. That's a pun. That's a pun. Let's see. Oh, we're cutting. We're cutting. We're moving ahead here. What do we got? We got some uh, more scary stories to tell in the dark. Who else had these books as a kid? But uh, who had the uh, actual grotesque artwork versions? Uh, that is not the same. That one was not scary. Let's see. Looking. 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 See, this is the actual searching. Ooh, here's an old book. The Wonderful Voyage of Captain Pen. Alright, cool. That's, that's something. Alright, let's 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 find ourselves a tape here. R&B. R&B cassette. Rhythm and blues. We're looking around. We're searching. I don't feel like we're actually looking that hard. We certainly could be looking much more in depth. Well, I guess we're done. Oh, Beanie Babies! Beanie Babies! Beanie motherfucking baby! Um, here we are. The electronics. We always... Here's that mouse pad. Blaster. Get out of here. And then, uh, yeah. Plenty of VCRs for your VHS cassette tapes. That at and printer has moved down here, apparently. It's no longer a featured item. Yeah, just a lot of... A lot of crap. A lot of crap. Oh my god. What are you? What are you? What are you? Go away. Go away. I don't want to see you anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye. So yeah. Not much going on in here. Empty DVD cases. Panda phone cover. Never see the use again. Well, we got to... Um, if you can open it. If you can open it. It's so hard to do one hand. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, lighted Tetris. All right. Not exactly what we're looking for, though. We're looking for Tiger. This was probably made by, like, I don't know, Riger or Poop Company. Mmm, 90-minute 8-track cassettes. Cartridge. In case you need to know, do a little 8-track recording. And we got some uh, Sudoku Wizard. Those are close, but not exactly. Poop Cat. This is a cat made out of poop. It's got to be made out of poop. It is frightening. There's some scales. <laughs> Weigh in on how you like this episode, because so far it's uh, not very good. There's some more Sudokus. Remember when Sudoku was like a craze? Everyone wanted to make the numbers 1 through 9 fit into a box. Those are some good times. Good times. Some sockets. Right, go, Josh. Check out some sockets. 
It's very odd to see a lot of tools at Goodwill. Usually those kind of things get, like, passed down and whatnot. We got Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary collection of Mad Mac inside. Great. Hmm. It's fun. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I trust this thing to select my lucky numbers. I always stack up all my gold coins like that. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. What are they up to? <laughs> Little Victorian, uh... I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna get into it. Oh, here's a handsome bird. Hello, bird. You are very handsome. Hmm. Pillow? Little pillow action? Nothing works on an old boat except the owner. <laughs> uh, hilarious boat humor. Ooh, here's all these sheets I'm gonna rub my face in. Miss out on that action. Ronson Shoe Shiner. Yeah. Ooh, it smelled like nasty. Um, old man. Not 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 prejudice against old men. Just didn't smell very good. Look at this. It's like an octopus. Oh, checking out some VHS. <laughs> Look who's here. Look who's here. Oh my God. It's a sign. Good will hunting. All right. That might be our. Uh, might be our thumbnail. Ooh, look! A copy of Titanic sold, it seems like. That's good, you know. Oh, no, it didn't. It's right there. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Lord. We always looked for the movies just because. Never know what you're going to find. You never know. Then uh, we checked out the consoles, but it was really crowded. They had an Xbox 360S for 100 bucks, which really isn't a bad deal. All right. Need some air here. Sorry if that's noisy. I need air. I need air. There has to be air to breathe. Air is for breathing important. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, <coughs> we'll cough. We'll cough to get us on our way. So, in there wasn't too bad. Although, how is this? That's good. Stop. How is this? This is good. Um, yeah, how are you? I'm good. Uh, it wasn't uh, too bad in there. Um, no boys to men are all for one cassettes. Although R&B is very vague, so I feel like I'm going to find something at the next Goodwill. But, ironically, cassette tapes, that section is kind of disappearing, as I think, you know, cassette tapes are kind of disappearing. Um, we found a few of those quote-unquote handheld games, but I know it's not what Robert's talking about. He wants to see that crummy, square, white plastic Tiger Electronics handheld game that everyone's thinking of, so those really don't count. I'm going to count it like a half point for that Tetris one. Um, yeah, so that was, that was pretty much it. So this is the part of the video where... I kind of talk about my week and how it was and why I'm not going right on red because I can clearly go right on red. Um, it wasn't it wasn't a good, great week, I would say. Um, it was a very long week. It was six days. I was very tired. Oh, we're not going to make this light. Should I? No. Um... It was a long week. It was six days. I'm very tired. Uh, if you don't know, I, uh, I work for the post office for the USPS, um, which I know most people probably find laughable because who sends a letter anymore? But believe me, there's plenty of mail. There's plenty of mail. So basically all week I've been filling in on the machine that puts the cancellation mark on the mail. That's a little swirly mark over the stamp. It's how we know that stamps have been used so people don't just peel them off and use them again and again. So I've been working on that machine all week and it runs very fast and a lot of mail comes through it and basically my job is when it comes out at the end, it comes out in these little rows and I have to take it out of the row and put it in a tray to be further processed. That's basically the job. But the problem is, there's like 12 of these little rows, these stackers, and you have to keep up with all of them, moving the mail over, moving the mail over, moving the mail over, moving the mail over. And the machine processes, ideally, about 25,000 pieces 
per hour. So it's a lot of mail. So it's not it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite ever. So it was a long week and it was six days. I had to work Sunday through Friday. And um, so I'm happy to be off this weekend for the 4th. I didn't plan it that way. Um, and I have to work Monday, which is going to be a hard day at the post office because all the mail builds up because we don't send it out because it's a holiday. So there's that. And, um, yeah, so it's just a hard week and, like, Oof, by like Wednesday, I was already like, I'm over it. I am over it. I'm so over it. I'm like, if this was like Leapfrog and my work week was the person in front of me, I have leapt over them, stopped playing, left the school system, head to another state, moved out of town, and joined up with another school. That's how over it I am. So, I'm over it. I was over it totally over it by the middle of the week. So, yeah, not not my favorite. But now it's over. I can put it behind me. Have a nice weekend. Uh, my girlfriend has a friend visiting, so that's fun. We may do some fun things. You know? What else? What else? What else? What else? I have to fill about seven minutes worth of time here, so... it all up with things and stuff. What else is going on? Um, I've been doing some gaming lately. Doing a little gaming in my off time, which isn't, there isn't a ton of off time, but there is some off time. I've been playing uh, Valiant Hearts on Xbox One, which was one of their free games with gold a few months back, and it's really good. Like, it's a, um, it's basically a puzzle kind of strategy game based in, uh, in World War One, and I think the, uh, the ironic thing about this game is even though it's a war game, you do very little to any kind of violence, per se. It's all just puzzles and solving and getting from place to place and a lot of fetching, like, this guy wants this, go get it, bring it back, he'll give you something, you go over there, you pull a lever, you know? But it's interesting. And even when you encounter enemies, you only knock them out. Like, you really... There's no incentive to kill at all. So, I don't even think you can. There's been no opportunities to kill anyone so far in this game. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, Beyond that, I had a little... uh, little fit this week, because if you ever watched my unboxing for that Vizio soundbar, I was disappointed because when I started using my Xbox, um, I didn't think I could use the soundbar. But, as it turns out, I'm an idiot. Big shock. And um, the Xbox and the soundbar are compatible because the Xbox has optical out and the soundbar has optical in. But basically, I, like, freaked out in the middle of the week. I'm like, oh, I could just do optical. And then I'd be using my sound bar, and I've got this $300 subwoofer that I could use, and, you know, life would be good instead of these little tiny, like, TV speakers. So, um, I freaked out because, like, where's the optical cable? It's around here, it's around here, it's around here, it's around here. And I couldn't find it, and I couldn't find it. I'm like, oh, probably put it in that giant box of wires and put it in storage. And I had. But it wasn't a big deal, because I picked it up, um, yesterday, and I hooked it up this morning, and it sounds good, so I'll be excited to do a little very loud, obnoxious, annoying gaming, so that's on the docket for some point this weekend, oh, what else, I really wanted to go this week to, um, look for those exclusive pops at Walgreens, but, um, no luck. I have one Walgreens within 50 miles. So basically, if you don't find it at that Walgreens, I'm pretty much screwed. Like, there's nowhere else to go. So I went there, and they had a row for it, but, uh, there was nothing there. 
And then I looked at the Walgreens near where I work, which is about 45 minutes south, and they said they had two to five in stock for a couple of days, but I couldn't make it over there. So now they're all gone, so. Just nope, just nope. I'm tempted today to go to GameStop. There's a box on the side of the road. I'm tempted today to go to GameStop and see um, what they've got for used games. I've really been enjoying gaming again lately. Like, I know that everyone says, you know, the Xbox One sucks, and there's nothing for it, and there's nothing for this console generation in general, but I feel like me as an older gamer, and someone who grew up, you know, Atari, arcades, NES, Super Nintendo, and then so forth and so on, like, games still impress me so much. Like, modern gaming, I'm still, like, all, all the time my mind is blown. Like, because I remember, you know, playing games like Karate Champ and Cobra Triangle. Okay, Cobra Triangle is a pretty good game. But you see what I'm saying here? It's like, even if the selection of games isn't so great, or if, um, the, the, I don't want to say the quality, but the variety within them at this point isn't so good, I'm still super impressed because... I still remember going back to those older games and now, like, so. Maybe I'm just a simpleton. That's probably the case. Probably just a simpleton. It's great. It's great. There's a lady across the way here. Um, but back to Goodwill. So we're about to approach our other Goodwill. And... We're still looking for that book, Chia Pet, R&B cassette, and a Tiger held, handheld game. That Tiger handheld game is going to be a tough one. Um, one of these weeks soon, I'll do like a super Goodwill hunt, and I'll hit like four of them, and I'll go out of town to go to other ones, but not this weekend. It's way too crazy with all the 4th of July traffic. Or July 4th, depending on where you're from. So, it's funny because you never say that for, like, any other holiday. You're never, like, Christmas, like, oh, the 25th of December. No, it's December 25th. Or, like, oh, oh, Flag Day. Which is, I think, in June. I don't know the date for it, so I got nothing. But, um, yeah, 4th of July is the one where everyone, like, puts the emphasis on putting the date first. 4th of July because it's important because it's, you know, America so oh, sorry crack my knuckles <sighs> McDonald's says try our toasted coconut coffee iced slash hot so if I go up there I'm going to be like, hello, I'd like our toasted coconut coffee, ice slash hot? Ice slash hot, please. I'm like, well, you can have it iced or hot. I'm like, no, no, I'd like iced slash hot. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway. That was not inappropriate. I'm just itching my leg. Um, yeah. I really, uh, I wanted to say I really appreciate all 103 subscribers so far. Um, these Goodwill videos seem to do do pretty well. What do we have for time here? Wow, 12 minutes? 12 minutes of me just talking. I hope you like me talking, and I hope you're not a big a fan of me finding stuff. So, mm, cause there's going to be plenty of talking in the middle of this video. Ironically, I almost never go back and look at this footage. Like, when I plug it all in to the editor, I drop this clip in, and I don't even touch it. Like, I'll shave a couple seconds off the end if I put my hand up to, like, turn the phone off. But, uh, but besides that, this all stays in. You get all of this great content. All of this low-quality content inconsistently on a weekly basis. It's all for you. I do it for you. I'm, ex I'm sure my YouTube is going to explode any minute. That sounds kind of gross, actually. My YouTube is going to explode. Anyway. 
making the goodwill turn. Guy in front of me not using his signal. All right. He must be fresh out of blinker juice. Oh, there's kids up here for a car wash. I feel like I've driven by about four child car washes. All of which I have passed by. Because I don't want children to wash my car. It's pretty, pretty simple, actually. So... <sighs> I hope I find at least, I'd like to find the cassette at Goodwill. I'd like to find the cassette. I feel like if I don't find an R&B cassette, I'm a pretty, pretty big failure. What is this guy doing? All right, now we're gonna have to go for it. Going for it, going for it, going for it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jeep. I had a Jeep, I, uh, I had a Jeep. Is this guy gonna turn, what are you doing? Mm, nope, slowing down, all right. Okay, cool. Now, we're gonna go really fast because you don't know where we are. Anyway, I had a Jeep. It was a 97 Grand Cherokee Laredo. It was red. Uh, I really liked that car. I would get another Grand Cherokee Laredo if I had a chance. Granted, if I bought one from 97 now, it probably wouldn't be super reliable. So I'd have to get a new one. Ugh, a new one. I'm sure they're nice, but I really like the styling on the older ones. Anyway, this guy's still in front of me acting like he has no idea what the hell's going on. God, 15 minutes? 15 minutes of me talking. God, I should just make these a separate video. But I won't because this is part of the format. You get me talking right in the middle for a whole bunch. All right, making the turn. Goodwill. Saturday, boomerang bucks. $5 off any $25 purchase or more. Boomerang. Boomerang. Something we could not find. A boomerang. Isn't that ironic? They also have the um, dollar sign backwards on their $5. So that's kind of weird. Maybe they're dyslexic or something. I don't know. Right, let's find a space. Finding a space. Finding a space. In a space. Finding. Oh, we got the pull through. Shout out to those people who love the pull through. <laughs> pull through. <laughs> oh, funny, funny, funny. I'm gonna park right here. This is like a normal spot, basically, right here-ish. All right. Tag Electronic Game. That book. Chia Pet. R&B cassette. Let's go. This is where I cut it. All right, we get a little uh, MP3 action on that DVD player. That's exciting. All right, I fully support that. I fully support everything that's happening there. A uh, little slide projector, a little slide viewer. Look at these DVD players. Can't give them away. Down the other end, I'm going to sell us some iPad cases. Uh, this remote for something. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans. More iPad cases. Everyone abandons their iPad cases as they get more iPads. So there's plenty of iPad cases all the time. And let's get this. We got a little uh, rocket fish. I think it's a wireless speaker transmitter for like your rear speakers. If uh, you know you want to stay wireless. We're going to fumble about here for a moment or two, I remember. So yeah, hope you're enjoying this video so far. Um, oh, here's uh, here's Superman. Oh wait, it's just DVD Man. Yeah. CD recorder. Remember that? It was a big deal. Got this Jonas Brothers thing. Apparently it's just a box of Jonas Brothers. You just get a box of them. Seems about right. I'm just looking at this um, used cat harness, which was covered with hair, so that's that's no good, no good. I didn't see the uh, Nokia cell phone faceplate this week, so maybe somebody bought it. Somebody finally uh, is this a Pokeball? Is this? Are we gonna catch them all? Uh, probably. Squirtle, I choose you. Huh? Get in the fucking ball, Squirtle. Do we get Hershey's kisses? Hundredth anniversary? Doing a little. 
100th anniversary. What's, what's going on here? Oh, moon shoes. I always wanted these as a kid. Um, but I'm telling you, they wouldn't work so great now. Would not work so great. Who are you? Go away. Just go away. Just no one. No one likes you. Just go back there. Just shh, shh. There you go. No one needs to see you. Goodbye. 2004. Someone was loved in 2004. Not, not so much anymore though. Look at this. Oh, Tiger. Tiger handheld electronic game. Jeopardy. Close enough. Close enough. You're gonna call that a win. You're gonna call that a win. Yes. Then there's this tiny um, cassette section with Vince Gill, who I believe is a country artist. But you know what? Also gonna call it close enough. Gonna call it close enough. Ooh, look. Titanic in widescreen. Now, now we're all set. And then we get some, uh, some tapes, which are really not focusing on much of anything. Ooh. Get rid of that glare. This is a movie by Future Films for Families, who also did the uh, Stellar Buttercream Gang. So if you're, if you're not familiar with their works, they uh, they make movies, and they are not not very good, not very good at all. Pretty awful, pretty awful. Here's a book. Here is a book. Oh my god. Full House. Michelle and Friends. See, this is a horror book. That is a horror book. That is... God, help us all, since that was made. And we got uh, some... When I'm Sleepy. Yeah, describes my life pretty well. Four Spooky Tales Hologram Book Collection. Um, another close enough, I would say. I'm not going to find many other... Oh my god, now it's going to go back. Okay, there we go. Thank goodness, I was worried it wouldn't wouldn't go back in. Then we're just kind of scanning for actual... Ooh, look at this. Moving through the store. Moving through the store. Look at this. Aqua Armor. Cast Protector. That is, um, that is some clickbait right there. Use that as a the thumbnail. It's a pretty cool uh, entertainment center, actually, but... I don't need one. I do not need one. Don't. Record player. There we go. I'm gonna open it. There you go. Yeah, look at that. I had one of these suitcase-style record players as a kid. $20 is a bit steep, though, because probably the uh, the needle's busted. Because most of the times the needles are indeed a busted. Yes. See that? I'm actually getting a shot of Goodwill. How you like that, Internet? How you like that? I am on my way. Not really, no. That's it for today. Um, what do we think how we did? Um, well, we kind of found an R&B cassette. All right, it was country. That's not the same. But it had Vince Gill on the front, and he was looking very R&B. Okay? Now, um, that, that cassette section was like this big. It was crazy. Um, so no cassettes there. Also... Um, I find with the cassettes, what happens is a lot of the cassettes now tend to be like country and gospel. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Anyway. Um, they, they tend to be a lot of country and gospel because it's older people's uh, items that are being donated, and that's the music they tend to listen to. So. Bummer. Uh, also, what else? Uh, we found that Jeopardy! Tiger handheld electronic game. That counts. That was a Tiger handheld electronic game. I don't want to hear it. I know we're all thinking of the square white one with like Battletoads or Double Dragon or any of those awful licenses they managed to get a hold of. But that counts. I'm very defensive about that for some reason. I really, it doesn't really matter at all. Um, no Chia Pet. I didn't think I'd find a Chia Pet because what happens is people get Chia Pets, they bring them home, and they immediately seed them up, and then they grow, and then people go, hmm, that was okay. And then they throw them out, and they die. So, that, it was a good one. It was a good one. I would have liked to have found a Chia Pet. And uh, finally, the hologram book. Um, I found a children's book with holograms on it. Eh. Eh. 
going to call that like a half point. So what do we give ourselves for this trip? Like, <coughs> I'm going to say two out of four. I'm going to count the Vince Gill as half a point. The hologram book is half a point, And the Tiger Handheld Jeopardy is a point. So two out of four. Two, two out of, two out of four. Looks like I have blood on my finger. Anyway, that was gross. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to uh, like this video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment down below for next week when I go and look for more things at uh, Goodwill. And maybe, oh, see, I am bleeding. I am bleeding. I give him blood for you people. See, look. See? See, this is gross. You don't want to see this. Anyway, yeah, leave your comment. Is this drifting? Don't drift. Leave your comment down below for things for me to find next week at Goodwill. Um, generally, I like the, uh, you know, the items to kind of stay. What is this? Thriller? Doing the thriller? I like the items to kind of stay, like, within the realm of Goodwill. Things you would probably find at a Goodwill. So, uh, yeah. Let me know down below. And uh, we'll catch you again next time. And thanks for watching. Uh, tune in next week for good low quality content inconsistently on a weekly basis from Josh's movies. All right, take care. I found a nickel. I'm keeping this. My pet babies, we make our dreams come true. My pet babies, why the fuck does this ride still exist in 2016?